continuing with our tell me wise on the chapter physical and chemical changes we have our two super performers humaira and sabri vasan who are back with us hope you have enjoyed watching their videos and in case you haven't then please watch matter and its composition hey all humaira here During the learning of this chapter, we got many of our doubts cleared, like what is rusting, what is the difference between iron and rust, and so on. But there is one doubt that lingers on. Have you ever wondered why rusting of an iron object is faster in coastal areas than in deserts or plains? Rusting of iron in coastal areas is higher than the areas which is comparatively dry because the amount of moisture in air is more. Rusting happens faster when iron comes in contact with high amount of moisture. Another reason being presence of salt in the atmosphere. Salt water is an electrolyte which conducts ions speeding up the rusting. Salt solution acts as an electrolyte allowing the iron to lose up all the electrons more easily. So from all the examples of rusting we came to know that the moisture is a root cause of rusting. But if there is a presence of salt in the atmosphere then the rusting process can speed up even more. But then why the iron pillar at Qutub Minar which is there since many centuries has still not rusted? The iron pillar which is housed in the same complex is one of the Delhi's most famous monuments Qutub Minar dates back to 400 AD. It has been continued to capture the imaginations of scientists since early 90s owing to its resistance to rust. The corrosion resistance results from an even layer of crystalline iron 3 hydrogen phosphate hydride forming the high phosphorus content iron with absolutely no presence of sulfur or magnesium this layer helps to protect it from the adverse effects of the climate is this also rust or something else well it is not rust it is a copper coating on steel today we'll see how iron nails get coated This experiment will be performed by Amrudul Amam because copper sulfate is a poisonous chemical and hence this experiment has to be performed by an adult Things needed for this experiment are copper sulfate, iron nails, spatula, tongs and water. Dissolve 2 spoons of copper sulfate in some water, then add a few iron nails and keep it aside for a while. After some time we will notice that the nails turn reddish brown while the turquoise blue solution turns a pale green. So what has really happened in this reaction? The iron from the nails replaced the copper from copper sulfate solution and formed iron sulfate and copper from the copper sulfate solution. Deposit on the iron nails as a reddish brown deposit. This is an example of single displacement reaction where only one substance either an element or ion is displaced or replaced. Copper sulfate reacts with iron and gives ferrous sulfate and copper. Hope you have understood everything related to physical change and chemical change. In case you still have a doubt, please write to us on advantagemasterminds at gmail dot com. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, Sabri Vasan again, and I'm happy to be back. Hope you like my style too. Well, let's start with the chemistry. In this topic, we have covered many types of physical and chemical changes. I think we have covered all the areas. Wait, let me think. See, I like eating curd, and this is formed due to the curding of milk. which may be in the presence of bacteria or squeezing lime juice into it and it is a chemical change then i like eating idli dosa and bread how are these things formed first of all question a what is fermentation now over here i have a fermented dough and a non fermented dough wow this time our idli will be bigger than an elephant am i right anna go Have you ever seen such idlis? Fermentation is a chemical breakdown of a substance by bacteria, yeast, or other microorganisms, typically involving the release of carbon dioxide in form of bubbles and heat. Because of the release of all these gases, which makes the food soft and fluffy. Fermentation, in the above mentioned cases, it is a desirable change. It cannot be reversed. Therefore, it is a chemical change. And then we have Anna. Where are you? I can't see you. Don't worry. I'm here only. Bring me out a candle. All right. Here we go. Oh my God! How fast the wax is melting. Wait. Let me put it on a plate. Oh, much better now. 
Oh, look at this. How quickly the melted wax is being solidified. This shows that melting of wax is a physical change, but burning of candle is a chemical change. It is because we cannot get the cotton wick which is in the candle. See, it has turned into ash. As we all know that the cotton wick and the ash, they are not the same substances. Wait, let me open the window. There is still plenty of smoke from the candle. This smoke is so harmful that also reminds me of stubble burning. Question 9. Do you know why smoke is so harmful? Stubble burning. Stubble burning emits fine particulate matter PM2.5 which is an hair pollutant which may get trapped into the lungs and causes lung cancer. This smoke not only contains fine particulate matter, it also emits harmful gases such as nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and methane which all of these severely affect human health. The plumes of these pollutants are light and hence they can be carried away to large distances by the wind. This is why the Delhi NCR witnesses the smudge and smoke over the stubble burning season that also coincides with Diwali. Delhi air quality index goes for a toss every year for this reason and the millions of inhabitants of the region suffer from insufficient cough and other respiratory issues. Children, senior citizens and uh, those with pre-existing conditions are particularly suffering from irreversible lung damage which may prove fatal in many cases. These gases seep into the soil and they change the composition of the soil. They also directly affect the agriculture and they also change the composition of the food that we eat. It's not at all. The smoke from the candle contains many other harmful chemicals. Can you name any one of them? If you know the answer, please write in the comments below. Time to say goodbye, but I will tell you, if we do not maintain the air quality level seriously, then we have to be ready to face another pandemic. So friends, let us all try to make a difference. A real difference hope you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel if you want to know more then please go to the description box given below we have answered many other questions bye for now keep watching we will be back soon